They don't want me to play this shit. Haha. <laughs> when OBS errors out multiple times in a row, even the capture software doesn't want me to play Warzone. But, um... <clears throat> hopefully, I'll, I'll learn and do better. Right now, I am sucking ass and doing terribly at the game. Uh, Elon, just to be a dollar, said, Chad has spoken. Mod Wendy's chili in my blunt. Absolutely not. It never happened. So, by the way, guys, thank you for the support tonight. I'm at the $46 in tips, as promised. If I do hit the tips goal tonight, I'll put on my vest, but... We've only got about an hour of streaming left, FYI. Only about one hour left on the stream, guys. So if you want to make it happen, you got to make it happen quick. All right. Uh, will I ever emulate a game? Uh, I have emulated games in the past, games that weren't readily available for capture. For example, when like the classic Super Nintendo games were not available on any console that I could capture from, I played them on emulation. But then later on, they put them on the Wii U. So that I never really emulated them again. You see what I mean? Things are sorted. <clears throat> we'll be deployed shortly. Christopher Law was diagnosed with severe CTE. What is that? I don't know what that means. Kamal's brain supposedly was like a 90 year old Alzheimer's patient. Holy shit. How do you even do what he just did to me? Can you actually do that? Is that like execution? He gets CTE from repeated trauma to the brain. Damn. Mark a drop point for your team. Gas is closing on your position. Suggest you get moving. I don't know where to go. Maybe the stadium or the lumber yard. Dino's World Cheer says, oh, Dino's Word Cheer says, what do you think is your strongest, uh, your strongest talent in gaming? Oh, man. I don't know. I guess maybe it would be the ability to uh, jump into any game and at least give it a go. I'm, certainly, I'm not good at most of the games that I play, and very few do I actually get to any kind of a competitive level. But I just feel like I can jump into any game kind of feet first and do my best to try to on the fly learn what I'm doing and not just be the worst player. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm bad, but I'm not the worst. I mean, you know, look tonight, I'm getting kills. You know what I mean? I haven't played this as nearly as much as anyone who's played it. It's only my second time playing it. And I'm able to, like, get the drop on people and get kills and stuff. So, probably, like, that on-the-fly adaptability. Um, because, you know, that's that's what you need as a variety streamer. You need to be able to play a variety of games. And, you know, adjust to whatever kind of game or situation you're in. I think that trophy system, like, blocks explosives or something, right? I think so. The building's creaking. Oh, man. Uh, Ninstar Rune Shoes, do you think Halo Infinite will be good? After Halo 4 and 5 being so bad, I don't have high hopes. No, I mean, to be honest, I don't have high hopes for it either. I really don't. It's the same dev team. Just because it's going to be on a new console doesn't fucking mean shit. What's hilarious is, if you remember, it was supposed to be Halo 4, 5, and 6. And you notice that no one says Halo 6. They just say, oh, Halo Infinite. They're pretending like it's something new and different. No, it's Halo 6. But they're pretending like it's different because 4 and 5 weren't so good. They want people to kind of forget about that. And think of it as a totally new thing when it's not. It's Halo 6. Oh, mature adults, I personally think the whole lockdown thing is... What? Alright. Mature adult, I'm about to ban you. I'm serious. I'm serious. What you just said is fucked up. You think it's a fucking joke? It's not. 
And if you ever say anything like that again, you're going to get permanently banned. I mean it. PW dubs to me $1.30 and said, Did I ever see The Ringer with Johnny Knoxville? It would never be allowed to release these days. The basic premise is he pretends to be a special Olympics participant to win money. Uh, no, I don't think that I saw that. <clears throat> that reminds me of South Park. That was also a plotline in South Park, remember? Dino's word cheered again. He said, Fair enough, my dude. It's been entertaining these last couple of days in the house. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Uh, BWT, cheers. Any predictions on how The Last of Us 2 story will turn out? Nope. I don't even know what it's about. I seriously don't know. I've been following. I'm not. Try I'm trying to not spoil myself. I want just like Last of Us One. I didn't really know how the game was gonna go, so I want to have that same kind of, you know, not knowing when I go into the sequel. I don't want to know. Oh, I already know half the fucking stuff about the game. Nope. I told you guys that's how I like to do it. I don't like to fucking spoil myself on games. It just ruins the experience if you do that, in my opinion. So I don't see a way to climb up here. I hear all kinds of fucking noise, but I don't see anything. Oh, I want this. I want this over that shit. Wait, UAV kill streak? Nice. Ground to actual requesting flyover. UAV entering the AO. Gas is closing in. Enemy UAV overhead. Second floor of this building. Be advised, UAV is bingo fuel. RTB for resupply. Hello. He had shitty weapons. UAV worked well. Don Dande Paul took me ten dollars. I've been following since twenty ten. Here's my ten year with ten years of DSP. See you tomorrow for Mass Effect two. Sounds good, man. Hope to see you tomorrow for Mass Effect two for sure. Remember the stream's gonna start later by about an hour than usual, and I will let you know exactly when it's gonna start uh, on Twitter once I get uh, a better idea. Okay. Sigmund Frood Chase said, were you getting further and further into your career? You feel like slower-paced games with no need needless reaction time, or no needed reaction times, fear style more. Oh, uh, no. L let me put it this way. I do like chill games a lot more than I used to, okay? Back when I was playing for a YouTube audience, it wasn't about chilling and interacting with the audience live. It was about putting out stuff that was, oh, my God. It was about uh, putting out stuff that a YouTube audience would watch. The YouTube audience, very honestly, was very fickle. And they always wanted action. They always wanted rage. You know what I mean? Um, now, I feel I am much more well-equipped. Is that L1? L1 for a medical syringe. Okay, that's how you heal. It's a medical syringe you have to find. I find now that I can have a lot more fun with you guys just relaxing and playing a game that isn't necessarily action-intensive. I can play a long, drawn-out JRPG, you know? I can play a game like Minecraft. You know, I can do stuff that does not need to be, you know... Oh my god! Twitchy shooter, twitchy shooter, action, 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 death, death, death. Um, and I can still have a, an audience that appreciates that. And I'll be honest, I like that. So I grew up playing re more relaxing games most of the time, except for Street Fighter. Like, I would say Street Fighter were the games that, like, that was action intensive for me. I would go play competitive shit. And then when I was at home, I would play like, Super Mario and stuff like that, you see? <clears throat> so for me, I've, I've been enjoying the past one or two years where kind of that stuff has been mixed up for me and now instead of it always constantly being about action 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 it's it, it, we can have more variety now i'm certainly not saying i don't want to play action games i'm a variety style gamer all right i want to play a variety of games i like to immerse myself in the gaming culture and know what's going on out there with games if i skip out on half the games in one year because i say oh, i just don't want to play those tough games anymore you know, I can't even put myself in perspective of all the games that came out in a year. What the fuck? Okay, someone sniped me.
See what I mean? About being a variety gamer? I, I knew exactly how to handle that situation. <laughs> I'm not going to win, but I can actually do decently, you know? Motherfucker tries to get a cheap kill on me? I don't think so. Biatch! So there you go. Anyway, um, no, I like doing variety stuff. I just think I, I like and appreciate more now more relaxing games because gaming should not always be about having to be play a crazy ass over the top reaction shooter. It shouldn't have to be about playing a crazy difficult 5 million deaths. You have to play perfectly to win kind of from software style game. I like the variety of stuff that I do now. Hold out, drop headed your way. Well, I'm not gonna get over there in time. And I don't have I don't have anything for distance either. Oh man, I gotta go that way. You serious? I have to. Well, let's see here. The wrestling historian tipped me a dollar thirty says to add on to the whole Benoit situation. Eddie's death really messed with Benoit's head. Both men gave their lives to wrestling. One will be remembered and one will be remembered in infamy. Yeah. Pretty fucked up. It's Drake tipped the dollar says, Woo, it's Woo back Wednesday in honor of the famed philosopher Pop Smoke. How you celebrate this occasion? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The fuck does that mean? Thank you for the dollar tip. Anyway, Ninstar Rune Cheer, so what game that you played over the years has had the best lore or most interesting lore? <clears throat> oh my god. You guys asked me the most cra like questions where like I would need to reference years of fucking material and think about a decade or two of games to answer your question. <laughs> Just look at around into the background. Yeah, there's a bunch of guys here. There's a bunch of fucking people over there. So then Star Rune, I don't know, Mass Effect, Bioshock, the Dragon Age franchise. Like, I could sit here and tell you about my games of the last 10, 10 years that I really liked, but I don't, again, I keep telling you guys this. I don't, like, weigh and balance games in my fucking head. I don't have top 10 countdowns that I make. You know what I mean? Like, I just enjoy games for what they are, and I don't necessarily weigh and balance them against each other. Sure, I would love to play a new Dragon Age game because I like the lore of that universe. I think it's really fun. Sure, I would love another Mass Effect game. Even though they ruined the last one, I would still like another one because I like the lore universe. It's fun. Is Dragon Age lore better than, than Mass Effect lore? Rank it, top 10. No, I don't do that. I don't do that shit. Uh, Dino's Word cheered again. He says, on the opposite side of the coin, what do you feel like you can improve most in your gaming? Oh, uh, huh. What could I pr improve a most at? What do I really suck at really badly? Stealth. You know what it is? I'm impatient. A lot of the times I'm impatient. And when I play certain styles of games, I don't want to play it the way the game devs intended because I'm very impatient. So instead of doing the slow-paced stealth that they want me to do, I'm trying to rush in and get it over with. Or you know what I mean? Or like if I die once or twice, then I'll get frustrated and want to rush through it rather than take my time and beat it the right way. That's just kind of how I am. Um, I can't go under the truck. They won't let me. What the fuck? Okay. That was lucky as shit. Time to put some armor on. Okay. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. 
PW Dubs to be $1.30. So I saw your schedule on Twitter. You said you'll be running late tomorrow. Would you have to run errands before stream? Uh, tomorrow I got a, an appointment I have to be at in the morning. And at first it was supposed to be one time. Then it got changed to another time. Now it's actually gotten changed. I'm not even kidding. A third time. So because he's... Oh, shit. I'm going to hide here. Because it, the, the thing keeps changing, I didn't know what was going to happen in regards to like my schedule. He got me? Wow, I was firing directly into him the whole time. Whatever. But yeah, so, yeah, I, basically, I, I'm pretty positive I'm not going to be here on time for this stream. I don't think it's possible. So I'm basically saying, assume I'll be an hour late for stream. And if it's going to be worse than that, I'll let everyone know on Twitter, but assume I'll be an hour late for stream. Oh, look at this. Shotgun. Sort them out or capture the objective. Jesus, he got fucking destroyed. Oh, that guy was just mulched right there, man. Okay. Bullish rug, I have to end on time tomorrow. But what I'll do if I am late, which I looks like I'm gonna be, I'll try to make like a super short pre-stream. If you're like, sorry, I'm late, guys. I'm gonna start in a minute. You know, please contribute if you can. And that's all I have to say today. I don't have time for the rules or nothing because I'm late. You know, I'll just go boop, 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 super quick to get in and get started. So. Someone tried to snipe me. I better run. So, you know, I drop all I have is a handgun. How the fuck did that guy airdrop in front of me with a full auto machine gun and just destroy me? I don't understand that. Do I have any money? I don't know. What the fuck is that? I mean, this is the shopping spot, but what the fuck is it? Look at it. I'm pretty fucked. All I have is a shitty ass slow gun. So I'm gonna get destroyed. Huh. Alright, guy just landed right there. Get to the new safe zone. Here he goes. See? He was he airdropped and now he has a full auto gun. We lost that one, but we'll How are how is everyone airdropping with full auto guns, but I airdrop with a handgun? I don't get it. <sighs> Swangin said a 50 bit cheer. He says, Are you shocked at the success of praise of Half Life Alex despite it being exclusively VR? No, because it's Half Life. The fucking Half Life fanboys are going to suck the dick of Valve because Valve finally made a game after so, 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 so many fucking years. That game could be a broken piece of donkey shit and they would say that it's good. Now, I'm not saying it's a broken piece of donkey shit. I haven't played it. I'm just saying. You know the rabid fan base of Half-Life and how long people have waited for a new Half-Life. And now that there's finally something that's a new Half-Life, it's going to be praised no matter fucking what. Seriously. Um, and in my opinion, I think it's unfortunate. Because when you have a franchise like that that so many people have waited so long to continue the plotline and you kept them in suspense for, what, 10, 15 years? I think it was like 15 year plus years since Half-Life 2's final expansions. Oh, we're going to release a new game in the franchise, but it's VR only. It's like, you know what? Fuck you. You know, I'm not going to buy a fucking VR peripheral 
on a fucking high-end computer to play your fucking VR game when you should have given us a real game sometime in the past 15 years if you got off your lazy fucking asses and stopped trying to milk people for money on Steam and actually made a fucking game that people wanted for that long, maybe we wouldn't be so cynical and so pissy about it. But the problem is, that's exactly what they did. Oh, now we're going to release the new game, but it's VR only. Fuck off. No, that's fucking bullshit. No one asked for a VR game for Half-Life. They just decided they just wanted to do it on a fucking whim and did it. Now, again, I'm not saying the game's bad. Maybe it's amazing. If so, great, because I've been saying since day one, VR needs a killer app. Virtual reality needs one game that says, this is the game you need VR for. Because every time that people mention VR, they say, this game's kind of good, this game's kind of good. And then no one ever mentions the game ever again, because in reality, they're lackluster experiences. They're flash in the pan success, and then no one cares about them. They never get on Game of the Year awards or anything like that. So if Half-Life Alex really is an amazing, robust experience, great. Give a reason for people to actually play VR. I have a PSVR sitting in my closet boxed now, unused for how many years. If Half-Life Alex is the game I need to play, and it hopefully comes to PS4 because right now it's PC only, maybe I'll fucking play it. I like Valve games. I actually love Valve games. I think that they're quite good. But it's horseshit that they made a VR game. It was that's inexcusable. They knew what they were doing. They wanted to sell VR headsets. They didn't give a fuck about the player base. They just wanted to sell VR peripherals. Suman Fruit cheered and said something stupid I'm not going to read. Jay Hale to me another $5 so the king of hate tells it like it is yet again. Bow down, your pricks. All right, thank you, Jay Hale, for a $5 tip. We're now up to $63 in tips tonight, everybody. <clears throat> again, thank you to everyone who contributed, including Sambuco with the top cheer and uh, Una Virgo Toto Tota with the top tip. Thank you, guys. All right. I agree. Shinobi TV says VR optional would have been a good idea. 100% agree. Make it so that normal people who don't want to buy an insanely overexpensive VR set they'll never use again, buy it just for the game. And, you know, if you have it, great. Play VR. But if not, play the game normally. No excuse for them to do that what they did. There's zero. Zero excuse besides they wanted to sell VR peripherals. That's all they cared about. <clears throat> No, I'm never going to do a podcast to debunk criticism to lower the number of trolls and detractors. There's no point. Because it doesn't matter what I say and do, they move the bar. It's that simple. It doesn't matter what I debunk. It doesn't matter what facts I present. It doesn't matter any of this shit. None of that matters at all. Because these idiots just move the bar and say something different. So that's the bottom line. Mr. Lark did 100-bit chairs. I love Dune Eternal completely after seeing the whole game. I felt like the same way as you at first. Once it got figured out, it's a very satisfying experience. So hang in. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, look what's happening. We're now getting pop-up messages again. Look at this. Now, I swear I turned these the fuck off. Yet here they are. They're coming up again, right? You know what it is? By default, they turned them on. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. By default, they turned them on. Okay. So now I should be fine, because I turned it on to hide them. Because remember, I fixed that way back when with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, because that was intrusive. So I fixed that shit, and now they come back because they re they redid it, because I re-downloaded this version. That's how stupid. Well, I fixed it. Warm-up's done. <clears throat> Time to kick this off. Okay. Success in cocaine thanks to the dollar tip. He thinks that the trolls fear the vest. The trolls don't fear the vest. The trolls are just upset because there seems to be something that motivates people to contribute, and they don't like it. They don't like anything that would motivate people to contribute or help me or anything like that. And now they gotta spin it. Oh, we see. Phil made fun of people who dyed their hair and act like Muppets on stream, but now he wears a vest. Yes, I'm pretty sure that actively dyeing your hair, dressing in a way, and acting over the top like a cartoon character is a little bit different than waiting for people to contribute first and then putting on a vest to celebrate and still being the same person. But that's the thing. They don't want to pretend. They want, oh, it's the same thing. Phil's a hypocrite. That's because they're shitheads. Anything that's a positive to them is a negative, so they have to spin it in a negative way, so that way they feel like there's some kind of uh, justification or, say, even though it's something good for Phil, it's really bad because of the hypocrite now. Like, 
No, I'm not actually. You're just a shithead, and you're very upset that something positive is happening in my life. So, oh well, fuck off, you know? Well, he landed there before I did. I haven't mastered the art of the, the fast drop yet. Oh shit, I definitely haven't mastered the art of the fast drop. I almost died. Oh no. Oh no. Not good. I had zero chance to do anything. The guy already had a gun. <sighs> Welcome to the Gulag. If you survive, you earn your freedom. There's a fight kicking off. Get yourself sorted. You're up next. Listen up, soldier. Win here and you return okay. to the front line. Handgun. But if you lose, you're done. Sort them out or capture the objective. I just saw him. I shot him! He didn't die. I shot him a second time. And it did connect, and then I just died instantly. Yeah, these fucking single shotguns are complete garbage for a game that has delayed action, so that was a waste of time. Oh, let's see here. Captain Charisma took me a dollar thirty. He says, as a VR player, Half-Life is fun. It's nothing like having a head crab jump at you when you catch it in midair. I agree with you about being VR only. I do feel like it would not be as good in a non-VR mode. I mainly use it for VR for working out so this game is fun. Yeah, my, my point, Captain Charisma, is when you have a fan base, a large fan base of people who've been waiting like 15 plus years for you to finally make the sequel to your game that you never finished, you don't make it a VR game. You don't make it inclusive to only a group of people who can only play that version of the game because they have a high-end PC and a VR headset that can support it. That's bullshit. That's saying fuck you to everyone who waited 15 years and saying we only care about making a, a, a buck on fucking VR peripherals. That's lame as fuck to me. To me, if they really cared, they would have made a game that was a real Half-Life game and said, okay, we realize you guys have waited so long, we're going to give you what you deserve. Thank you for being fans for so goddamn long. They didn't do that. They didn't. Um, and it's very frustrating uh, that that's what they went because it basically means they, they don't care. They just don't give a fuck. They think that they're smarter and better and then, then all the fans who've waited a million years for a new Half-Life game. Um, but again, I'm not saying the game's not fun. I'm not saying the game's not good. I'm saying that's not the route they should have went, in my opinion. Uh, Ninstar Rune Cheers says, didn't you know I'm the only person on the planet who isn't allowed to accept tips or bits? That's right. For some reason, only I am the person who cannot get any kind of contributions or support on stream. I'm sorry, guys. Sambuka. Did another 300 bit cheer. He says, Real talk, I think the vest is funny and nostalgic. Maybe it could be reserved for special occasions and not hitting the tip skull. I like that you were above that and it's getting met. Yeah, you notice I'm not hitting the tip skull anymore. And that's what I mean. Like, people are going over the top crazy for something like that. And now I've hit it a few times and now no one seems to care anymore. You notice? We're not. We did not hit the tip skull. I'm only streaming for about another 30 minutes tonight. We didn't hit the tip skull. At first we were, and that was for like maybe a week, and now it slowed down again. I knew that would happen. That's why I told you guys. Doing those things, wearing the Sonic hat, wearing the cowboy hat. If you do it on every session, it's not special anymore. And that's why there are certain things that I only do for certain occasions. <clears throat> but Nana Republic Life took me a dollar and said, instead of wearing, like, uh, you know, video gamer shirts and stuff on my streams, can I wear Banana Republic clothes to represent better the, the Dark Side Field community? It makes me stand out against others. Uh, I don't own Banana Republic clothes, and I couldn't afford Banana Republic clothes. They're fucking expensive. Plus, they're kind of they're kind of preppy and stuff. I don't really like that. There's a time in my life maybe when I like that kind of stuff. I don't really like it that much anymore. So, not really me. Ooh. All right. <sighs> Got half an hour left, everybody. Excuse me. O Quad O says he thinks that VR is underrated. That he feels there's a lot of really great 
VR games on PC right now, specifically on PC, that are very underrated, and people just kind of uh, I'll write them up because they they say they're gimmick games. The my, I, my problem here's my real problem quad with VR yeah, is war, that there's no the comfortable Freud, headsets. Sir. Like I had the PSVR, which everyone claimed was like one of the more comfortable ones, and my head it sweat. There was condensation in the lenses. My neck would hurt. It made me nauseous to play certain games. So I'm like, why am I going to pull myself through all this shit for a gimmick? You see what I mean? And by the way, I liked the gimmick for the first maybe few games that I played throughout the, the first month that I had the PSVR. I actually really enjoyed the gimmick. But then the gimmick kind of wore out. And I didn't really care that I was in first person with VR around me anymore. It just kind of died out. I didn't give a shit. You know, um, and I think that's, that's kind of what it is. It's something that's very, it's a, it's a nifty thing. The first few times you experience it, and then after you've seen it a bunch of times, it kind of like, don't care anymore. You know what I mean? Um, and that's kind of my attitude. I don't really care to play a game in VR, especially if it means I have to buy extra hardware, extra, you know, extra peripherals. I don't care about it, you know? All right. Battle Royale. Set a drop point for your team, soldier. Oh yeah. Quad says he he feels Oculus Rift is super close. I see. That's something sadly I, I wouldn't be able to have access to until maybe someday I get another PC. There's no way that I could play VR and capture and shit all on my PC right now. I would need to get like a, a much much better PC uh, to handle that. I mean that's what I'm working towards this year. Hopefully everything goes okay with the stuff that I'm in the midst of. And then, within a few years, I can start to properly spend my money and save money up and do improvements and things that I need to do to improve my content. Getting a new gaming PC would be definitely one of those things, so... See, I agree there too, Quad. He says a lot of the, the VR games require you to stand, which is a downside. I know, when I'm playing games, I don't want to be fucking standing up and doing calisthenics. And a lot of the VR games, even on PSVR, you have to stand to have all this room. I didn't have the room. So I tried to play, and I couldn't even do the things the game was telling me to do, so I didn't have the room to play, you know? I mean, you gotta realize, ultimately, VR is a gimmick. 100% VR is a gimmick. The gimmick of, oh, you're, it's virtual. You're actually really there. And you can control things with your hands. You don't need a controller, you know? It's a gimmick. Not to say every game does that, because there were many games I played on the controller that were, were decent. But, you see what I'm saying? And when you have all these prerequisite requirements before you can have fun, I need to have a high-end PC. I need to buy a bunch of accessories. I need to have a ton of space. I just want to fucking play a game, man. I don't want to have 400 prerequisites before I can fucking play my game. Although, admittedly... Like I said, when PSVR came out, I did enjoy the gimmick a little bit for about one or two months there. I was definitely enjoying the PSVR. I thought that it was a cool thing. Um, and then the gimmick ran out for me, and I never really played it again. The last, like I said, the last thing I played was Resident Evil 7. And what I noticed was that I really didn't feel like it added a single thing to play it uh, on the PSVR versus just playing it... Uh, you know, as a, as a normal game, like I had done my first playthrough. I didn't really feel it added much at all. So, I was like, you know, with all these things required to pull it off as a VR game, why do I, do I care if it feels like the same game? So, that's kind of when, kind of when the veil was lifted over my head and I was like, wow, I really don't care anymore. The short stuff. Okay. So is it saying there's a mission above me? Again, how do I climb up this building? There's no fucking ladder. So how would I climb up this building to get the mission? I don't understand that at all. I really don't. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I'm gay. Here I am trying to figure out how do I climb the building and murder from afar. Listen 
up, soldier. Win here and you return to the front line. But if you lose, you're done. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. It took so long to throw it, and I hit myself. I was like, oh, he'll just throw it quick. No, he goes, oh, oh, oh. It takes fucking a second to throw it and kills himself. Amazing. Oh. If you guys haven't noticed, I don't really like this. I'm just being honest. Like, it's okay, but, like, it's not great. It feels, it kind of feels like a combination of things from other Battle Royale franchises. What is this? Officer progression? Why do I care? Get out of my face. What's this? I don't, I'm not digging it. I don't, I don't love it. Again, it's passable. If you guys really want to see me do this once a week, I'm okay with it. But I play anything else in place of it. I really don't like it that much. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yes. Apparently someone who was on my block list tried to follow me and join the game. That's interesting. <clears throat> I didn't know that's how it worked. But that's good that it did that. Quad, there's no way I would be able to play World of Warcraft. Whenever I try to play it, people troll me. The only way I can play World of Warcraft would be to play it offline without streaming so people don't know that I'm live, they don't know the game I'm using, and they don't know the realm I'm on. If I live stream it within five minutes, there's a bunch of people there in person trolling me, so. Ninstar Rune Shiri said, what would you personally like to see in a hypothetical Street Fighter V? I would like to see old school gameplay. Footsies. Spacing. Keep away. Plus rushdown. A combination. Very, uh, uh, characters that play completely differently. One that's a, a grapple type. One that actually is a rushdown type. One that's a keep away type. The stuff that's not present in Street Fighter V. Street Fighter V, every character's the fucking same. You play a single pattern. You do a 50-50 guess. If it hits, great. If not, well, do it again. That's the whole game. It sucks. I want old school gameplay brought back. Something that takes a lot of skill and execution. And not this stupid easy mode shit for five-year-olds. <clears throat> Hello, Derek. How's it going, man? That's right. I remember in Vice City? Or not Vice City. It was it Vice City? In one of those games where the music would troll me? I remember that. Who was the one like, that's just the way it is. <laughs> that's just the way it is. approaching your position. Move to the safe zone. Whoa, the safe zone is way south on this one. Captain Charisma took me a dollar thirty. Says, do I feel that my back issues and space limits are some of the reason why I did not, uh, or how I handled VR? Because he says a game named Beat Saber, that he feels that uh, it's Guitar Hero mixed with lightsabers, and I really would have liked it. But VR is not for everyone, and that's fine. I mean, for me, it was a combination of factors, like. First of all, like I said, if the headset for the PSVR hadn't been as heavy and annoying to my neck as it was, I probably would have liked it better. If I didn't get sweat inside the headset to the point where I had to take a break every 20 minutes to wipe it out, I probably would have liked it more. Um, 
if there were better games, because I, I felt like a lot of the games I were playing were just a gimmick and weren't really full-fledged games at all. Um, spacing, yeah, remember there were certain games that I felt would, it would have been a lot more fun if they had worked properly with the space that I had and they just didn't. And that also was frustrating. There's a lot of reasons why I think that I didn't enjoy VR as many, maybe as much as others. You know, I wanted to like it. I spent a ton of money on it. You know, I did. I spent a ton of money on the PSVR. And I only played it for what? Like I said, it came out in, like, November. And so I played it for, like, like, two months. And then by the, by the time Resident Evil 7 was out, I didn't care about it anymore. And I never played it again. And again, the other thing for me is, like, literally no one talks about VR. No one. It's never, you know, no one even brings it up when it comes to game of the year. No one considers it as a serious consideration at all. You know what I mean? It's always like, well, it exists. We know it exists, but there's nothing good enough on it to really care. And that's pretty sad in my opinion. I kind of feel that maybe that there is a misconception. Maybe because it's so much money to get into it and it's such a so many prerequisites to enjoy it that maybe it does get written off as any kind of a consideration as an actual good game, right? Big old goose to don't ever choose the Chia Pet mascot thoughts? Oh, I never had a Chia Pet. I'm sure some people did where you paint the seeds on a fucking ceramic head and watch these little bean sprouts grow or whatever. I mean, I can understand why that's a cool gimmick for a kid if you never, like, had a plant that you took care of and it made it look like a silly thing, but I don't understand why an adult would like that. This is a pretty crazy map. Like I said, it's so crazy. I'm in downtown, and now we're in, like, a bunch of, like, skyscrapers. While previously, I was, like, out on a farm and shit. It's pretty crazy how varied these maps are. And that you can, like, go in every... Look, I can go in every building here. It's insane. Supply boxes, huh? I hear one right here. Where? No, now I hear it. I don't see it. So fuck it. I'll go to the one they want me to get. Okay. Oh shit, there's two of them. Contract updated. New objective identified. The slick steel handgun. Gas is closing in. There's a lot of these. How much money do I have? I can't even tell. Oh, I have 70,200? That's a lot of money. Really? A powerful pump shotgun. Okay.
Stopping power shotgun rounds? Oh my god. Those are gotta be crazy good. My guns suck, by the way. I'm just gonna chill out in a building now. I'm gonna chill out till I see where the circle goes. Oh, uh, see here. Oh man. Hold on, everything's scrolling off the screen now. I can't read these people. It says, you know the damage doesn't increase based on the rarity of the gun. I can't read it, keeps scrolling. And I can't scroll up anymore on Twitch. Twitch fucked up their, their pop-out chat and I can't up. scroll up on the pop-out chat anymore to see what you guys are saying because this weird loading glitch. <sighs> Basketball American, thanks for the dollar tip, but no, I'm not in the age bracket of boomers who are dying because of the coronavirus. You're absolutely incorrect. <clears throat> if I had a severe underlying condition, like I had, you know, uh, lung disease, or, you know what I mean, like a severe heart condition or something, yeah, then maybe I'd be at risk. I'm not at risk. If I get it, I'm just going to get like a bad cold. Hey, at least from what they've said. Unless they're completely fucking wrong. Which who knows? Maybe everyone's wrong. Who knows? Well, I'm taking precautions, so. Can I see if I can turn off motion blur? Why would I? Oh, God. It says I'm maximum hunted. Look at this. Coming in. Ah! One shot, one kill. Friendly loadout drop on the way. Marking you safe zone. So much for that guy. <clears throat> oh shit, how did I do that? I hit the button. Fuck. I'm safe for now, but I need to get out of here. I only have 18,000. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Captain Charisma to me dollar thirty says that's true. I spent seven hundred bucks, four hundred on a used Vive, three hundred for hip and leg tracking. The good thing now is that VR is getting cheaper to get into, and you don't even need a PC anymore for some headsets. I just hope more devs will take the leap. Yeah, I don't know. I think devs at this point are so afraid because the game market has become oversaturated, and you even got big studios with giant budgets and advertisement budgets that the games are flopping. That game studios are insanely afraid of failure because they think it might make or break them. So I think what you're going to see is sadly less innovation and less chances taken on this kind of stuff. And more reliant on tried and true formulas that they believe are popular and will work. Even if necessarily that might be the, may not be the case. Happy target has been marked. Kill him. Reus? What's this guy's name? Well, I got my loadout for multiplayer. Yeah, I do. I got my loadout for multiplayer now, apparently. I guess that's how it works. So what do I got? This and I got... Oh, I got a shitty handgun. But they gave me my gun for multiplayer. Huh. I hope it's good.
I think it sucks they got rid of my other weapons. Like, why can't I keep one of them, right? They took away one of my guns. They took, but they took away both of my guns just to give me my one main weapon for multiplayer. What's up with that? I mean, don't get me wrong. The gun's amazing. I like it. But I kind of bummed they took away my other stuff. They want me to kill this guy, but I don't really care. <laughs> I have like an insane amount of money I, I haven't even used, so I don't really care about killing this target. I wonder, is everyone else trying to kill that guy too? Is that why they're all over there? Someone else got him. I knew I wasn't going to do enough damage. I knew it. Forty-three left, but we're gonna have to move. Yeah, forty-three thirty-five. Get this up to Uzi Gohart. Congrats, Uzi Gohart. Thank you, yeah, for the support. Gas is closing. Get to the new safe zone. Whoa, I'm right on the border of the gas. Look at that shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to go get out of here. The chopper just went down. Did you see that? A park? Some kind of a park. Welcome to Jurassic Park. He didn't die. I think he died because I think this is gun floating. Huh. Oh no, he's still there. Now I'm dead. Kill from behind. Uh, oh wait, I can still come back? No way. Is this late in the game? I was not expecting they would let me come back this late. See you later, Black Mace C-Type. If you survive, you earn your freedom. Just wait for your turn now. Be ready. <laughs> So you could throw rocks down there to distract the people. Yeah. I didn't realize that that's what this is with R2 or R1. You can actually throw rocks down there and distract the people who are dueling. But right now, since I'm waiting for an opponent. Listen up, soldier. Win here and you return to All the right, front here we go. I hate this gun. If you lose, you're done. Time to earn your freedom, soldier. Oh, 
The controls were so sluggish, I couldn't hit the guy standing in front of me. Look how bad that- look! Fire, fire- the controls are so fucking sluggish and slow to turn, I couldn't turn and hit the guy. This game fucking suck. It really does. The guy's right in front of me. He doesn't even know I'm there. I'm firing and I can't aim because the controls are so bad that it won't it won't snap to him to let me fire. And says so like, Bleh. fuck this game. All right. Well, let's see here. Uh, Quad to me dollar says what I was trying to say in chat earlier. Guns don't have an increased damage output based on its rarity. The higher the rarity, the more attachments there are on the gun. Gotcha. So if a gun has a ton of attachments, it'll be like you know legendary. I see what you're saying. Um, let's see here. Uh, saving private Peppa. To me, a dollar said, would I ever do an educational video game project through like Put Put Casper or Math Blaster? Um, uh -huh. he says, even though I'm old, I'm 40 years old, I like people watching people play those. I'm pretty sure those wouldn't be very interesting to me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for tonight's Warzone stream. I hope you had fun. Personally, the game doesn't do it for me. Like, I think I think Black Ops 4 Blackout was better. Um, even though this game has a better map, I feel that the gunplay is kind of meh. I really mean it. Like, it just seems like every time there's a, a firefight, everyone's a fucking Terminator who takes 5 million shots to kill, which is stupid as shit. And the gunplay's a little bit delayed. Every time I try to fire, it's like sluggish to shoot. So personally, I thought Black Ops 4 Blackout was actually better when it came to the firefights. What's funny, though, is I'm getting kills. It's not like I wasn't getting kills, but for some reason, I'm just never able to really hide it out until the end. Uh, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. PW Dubs to me a dollar thirty says, if you were a streamer in a public location, would you consider it an essential job so you wouldn't be forced to be in lockdown? I don't even know what the hell that means. Streamers are not in public locations, right? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Streamers stream from home. From like a home office. There's no streamer that streams from Times Square in front of a giant TV and that's where they have to stream from. That's ludicrous. <laughs> so I, I don't even know what you're talking about. Um is my job essential? No. Although I will say my job is pretty useful to a lot of people who've told me over the past week that since a lot of people have been in lockdown, they absolutely enjoy the fact that I'm here streaming for them every day and the fact that I can do it from the comfort of home and not worry about being at risk of this virus is awesome. So I'm incredibly lucky and grateful to be able to do this for you guys every day. And thank you all for the support that you give me on every stream, okay? All right. <clears throat> That's going to be it for Warzone. I guess we'll try it again next week. Let's see if I get any better. Let's see what happens with Warzone next week. Okay, guys?